here we are in the habitat. Um, so there's been a bunch, a bunch of monsoon activity here today, a bunch of rain, and maybe it's our lucky day because the clouds have parted. Uh, the big cloud that was above the spot has moved way over that direction. Uh, so maybe we'll be uh, lightning free tonight. Um, today, what I would really like to see, uh, of course, is the tiger rattlesnake, the ever elusive tiger rattlesnake, um, and also a Gila monster. There's a, there's a decent chance we could see one. I know they're here. There's been a lot of moisture, which might help. Um, and one thing that's neat about this spot, this is a new spot. Um, we spend a lot of time looking in the creosote fat flats around Phoenix, which is just flat ground and a whole bunch of creosote bushes with very little diversity. Here, if you'll notice, there aren't really any creosote bushes here. Mainly you just have shrubs, uh, cactuses like these choya trees. There's a lot more elevation, so we're, we're sort of in a different biome and that might really make it, uh, you know, that increase our chances that we find something different, like, like a Gila monster, so, uh, or a tiger rattlesnake. So we'll see what we can find. There's a snake shed right here. Not good enough to tell what type of snake it is, but it's coming right out of this hole right here. Here's the shed right here. It's a couple of feet long. Maybe it's a gopher snake? I can't really tell. I'm not very good enough, but uh, that guy could be hiding right in that hole. Okay, that mo there's a monsoon cloud that could potentially get us, but that one's going the other direction. Haven't really been able to tell which direction that one's going. Time will tell. And there's another big one over there. So hopefully those things stay far away from us because I do not want to be struck by lightning. I can't believe how quickly that monsoon went that way. Okay. I was moving down the wash and I was able to catch a one of these. Now I'm pretty sure this is a zebra tailed lizard. There might be a couple different variations of this. Uh, this is the first one of these I've been able to catch. They're really, really fast. Um, so I've never been able to get one before. These things are funny. What they do is they bury themselves in the sand of the wash and you'll step close to one and it'll get scared and unbury and hurry and zip off somewhere. Uh, this one though, I was able to run after it, shine the light on it. Uh, it took about five minutes running up and down the wash, but I was finally able to get it. Okay. Here's a close up of this thing. So the first thing you'll notice is it has a very sort of an upturned nose here. Very blunt nose. It has these really long fingers. Yeah, this is really cool. This is, they normally have a, t this one has lost its tail. But they normally have a little bit of longer tail and it'll curl up like this and it'll kind of go in the air when they're running. Oh, it's all right. And their skin is really soft. It's almost velvety how soft it is. Like little velociraptors. And look how long these toes are here. It's really cool. Now let's look at underneath. Look at those pretty colors on this thing. Oh, that's beautiful. No idea if this is a male or female, or how the 
like if there's you know sexual dimorphism if their colors are different between the male and female uh, I'm not sure the zebra tails are really cool though this is a bigger one too I think this is one of the bigger ones I've ever seen of these so that's really really neat I was able to finally get my hands on one Okay, I'm going to let this lizard go and keep moving. The monsoon is, looks like it's not super close so far, so I'm going to keep moving and see what I can find. Wow, that is cool. This is a coral snake. And these things are really tough to find. People rarely see these things. I don't even know what to say. I never even expected to see one of these things. I always I always hoped I'd see one. But I never really thought it was even realistic to think I'd ever find one. Okay, here is the coral snake. This thing is really, really different than any snake I've seen before. Uh, its head is so much smaller than other snakes I've seen. Oh, geez. No, no. Its head is so much smaller. I've never seen a tricolored snake like this. Wow, it's so cool. This is really, you know, an example of how different snakes are. I mean, they're all snakes, but they have really different features. It is, uh, I think it's closely related to, or at least related in some way to cobras. So it's, it's just a lot different than like the rattlesnakes and gopher snakes that we see out here a lot. Um, there's a saying that you've probably heard, red touches black, okay Jack, red touches yellow, kills a fellow. And if you'll notice, this snake has red, it's not yellow on this one, it's more of a creamish white color. But the saying is letting us know that this one's venomous. And the saying was designed for this snake and it, it works in North America, it doesn't work in other places, but, um, there's a king snake that also lives in the state that also has three colors that has the reverse order. So you always hear the saying, and today, well, I recognized instantly it was a coral snake, but uh, today the saying applies. So in a real life situation, it's pretty cool. The other thing about this snake that's interesting is just how beautiful it is. It's just absolutely striking. It uh, reminds me of the Gucci snake. It's definitely the most, you know, it's probably the most striking snake I've ever seen. And this thing is just out after the monsoons. All right, we spent the last 20 or so minutes filming the snake. We don't want to disturb it too much. Uh, also, there's a cloud that's backing up on us right now that's making me nervous. So we're gonna let it go. Um, I, you know, I never expected to see one of these. They're really rare and uh, yeah, it's one of those great finds that I always remember. 
Okay, we just got done filming the coral snake. Uh, we're pretty nervous because there is a cloud approaching us, um, but we were walking by this bush and my wife heard the rattlesnake. There's a rattlesnake here, Western Diamondback. Uh, it wasn't actually rattling, it was just slithering, so it was a really good find. We did the classic strategy of putting it under the hat. This thing's, this has the biggest rattle I've ever seen on a rattlesnake. You want, you want to show me the lay. How cool is that? Coral snake and then just right after, rattlesnake. Look at the rattle on this thing. <laughs> this is the biggest rattle I've ever seen on a rattlesnake. That is so neat. It's like a corn cob. It is. It is like a corn cob. Well, I'm starting to hear thunder. So we're just going to let this guy go. Great find though. Western Diamondback. Okay, so here's a quick update. Uh, it's been about an hour since we found the Western Diamondback and the monsoon clouds have gone. So we're not really stressed about that anymore. And we've been kind of moving in and out of these riparian zones. Uh, the monsoon rain today has filled up some of these washes. And so you can hear that noise. Those are, I think those are the red spotted toads that are down there. They're everywhere. Yeah, but it's really loud and interesting. And then the other cool thing is there's one of the biggest Sonoran toad, desert toads that we've ever seen just right here in the wash. Oh, it's loud. I'm going to get it and we can take a look at it. <laughs> this thing's huge. This thing is absolutely huge. Okay, this is a good, holy cow. This is what I'm talking about. Look at this thing. <laughs> we caught one one time that was this big. But this thing is, it's hard to hold on to, it's so big. That's all right. We're gonna let you go. Oh, we're not gonna eat him. <laughs> we're gonna let you go. So this is the Sonoran Desert Toad, and 
And this this might be the biggest one of these we've ever seen. It's close. We saw one in last year that was huge. But look at, I mean, this thing is as big as my hand. Got pretty big hands. These must, look how large this forearm is. <laughs> wow, look at those eyes. Look at the eyes. Look at this thing's back. So one thing about these, these, these secrete a toxin on their skin. So it's literally all over my hands right now. Uh, they have these glands right here and down here that secrete a toxin. So I have to make sure to wash my hands after this. Cause yeah, it's, it's all over me now, but. I'm pretty sure these are the largest, maybe the largest species of toad in the US. But this thing is just an absolute chunk. It's very powerful. <laughs> Here's its back. And. <laughs> this is like Jabba the Hutt, this thing. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go let the Frog King return to his domain. Look at that. <laughs> All right, buddy. Okay, we are back at the car. Uh, we ended up hiking around six miles. Um, a little bit of disappointment since we didn't find the tiger rattlesnake, but we found a Sonoran coral snake, so that's a, that's a pretty big deal. So we're excited about that. We're going to head home and see you guys next time.